in Facebook land. This is your girl, Nicole Tyler. Hi, everyone. August 10th, 2018. How many of y'all feel like the year is already gone? I advise everyone out there, just go ahead on and go Christmas shopping. <laughs> just, just go Christmas shopping right now. Um, get your list prepared. <laughs> who's naughty? Who's nice? Who's not getting anything? Who's, who you going to send just some cards to? Just go ahead on and get that started right now, today. Because Christmas is right literally around the corner. If you still believe in all that kind of stuff. Y'all see I have blue tongue and blue teeth. <laughs> my, my little boy's birthday was yesterday and I ate a pizza, a slice of his cake. And you know what else I had with the cake? Some sweet tea. Y'all know I'm going to be buzzing all for the rest of this day. Whenever I drink tea and eat something sweet or if I drink a cup of coffee and I eat a donut or something, I see why those police, police officers be whizzing down the street, <laughs> okay? <laughs> How y'all doing out there today? I just want to say thank you all for all my new subscribers. Come on back. You know what? Even if you don't come back to watch a video, I personally, from my heart, want to say, come on back just to say, hello, Nicole, and I hope you're doing well. Do you know how you can save a life just by stopping by somebody's page and leaving a thoughtful comment? So I, I, I definitely want to send that message from my heart to your heart to just check on me from time to time. Do you all know that sometimes I don't want to get out of the bed? I don't have the greatest life. I have not had the best past. So sometimes, as all of our minds do, it go back to the past and oh wow you could have been this you could have been a better at this or look at your situation now i don't you know are you do you want to live today do you want to get up what do you want to do and sometimes you have to think about the little things in life and so i say that to say when i see your comments pop up on my phone and notifications and they're very positive it really makes me happy it makes me want to say let me get my butt out of this bed let me let me do a video let me, I got to get myself, I have kids that's looking at me. I have two grandkids, so, I, and I have, you know, my 14-year-old. So, I thank you all for all those sweet comments. And come on back sometimes just to say, hey, girl, just checking on you, making sure you're doing okay, okay? All right, now, what did I want to talk about today? <laughs> so, you all know that I am a huge Trump supporter. I'm a huge Trump fan. Yes, I am. I'm crazy about me some Donald Trump. He can do no wrong in my eyes. He is a human being just like we all are. We live in this earth, we're inside of these bodies, and we're doing the best we can. So when people bring up his past and all this stuff, we all have a past. So I don't really listen to people who talk about his past. So recently I was on my Facebook, for, um, I'm always on my Facebook page, so you all come on see me on Facebook. But um, I had this guy, I shared this um, girl's post, um, hashtag walk away. Y'all go and watch all the videos. I've, I have one up now. And um, this girl, she had one up and I, it was inspiring to me, so I shared it on my Facebook page. I had so many people come on my page to ridicule me to say negative things to me, call me a dumbass, raggedy, black, stupid, bootlicker, coon. I had so many people coming on my page to say these things to me. And one particular guy, I, I think I might put up the, the, uh, the messages. Cause me and him went back for like two nights straight. And I, I, I you know what, I, I'm not even gonna be mad at the man. He said he's 54 years old, piss poor whites and you're gonna be Side, but you're gonna be sitting beside piss poor whites. You're a boot, boot licker and you lick white people's asses. Who says these kinds of things? I just was shaking my head and I was telling my son, I said, You see this, Malachi? I said, This is the kind of people you get when you say you voted for Donald Trump. I said, they, These people really have Trump derangement syndrome. I don't even think a doctor can help them okay I don't even think 
switching out their switching out their brain can't help them okay that's what they need but this person come telling me this kind of stuff on my on the on, under this girl's um post on facebook that got a million she has up to a million views now and i just couldn't believe it i'm very saddened by it because they don't know their history and they refuse to learn their history um hurt people hurt people so it's, i'm like in between i'm sad and then it's like what can you do about it because if you're 54 years old a male black male then you bring other people on then you tag other people to come onto the post to attack me to continue to call me a bootlicker coon dumbass stupid raggedy That goes to show you how our society as a minority and black Americans, mentally our minds are gone. They Their minds are gone and they refuse to see that they, they need to change. Tell me I'm the strong one, somehow I feel so weak, I know you're with now i voted for trump because i wanted a change and that's what i'm getting and i'm proud of my decision but if we are going to have a discussion let's have a discussion ask me why i voted for trump where is the love i am paralyzed i'm mad i look you know that is how you get answers that is how you get answers and then if you say well i don't agree and then you give me your your side of the story okay fine i'm willing we are all all everybody that i know voted for trump are sweet loving people who wants a change for the best we want to join hands we want to make america great again that is what we want to do but those democrats over there those, those people over there who are calling me all these names, coon and boot liquor and all this stuff, all they want to do is call you names and argue and stay single-minded when in reality they're keeping their foot on your neck like the Democrats have been doing us all these years. They don't know that they're on the wrong side, but that's okay because we're grown and that's their choice. I know I'm all over the place because I'm, you know, I talk from the top of my head, you know, but, um... It just, it just, it's just sad. It's just sad that, that our people, and this is how many of our people are. And if you looked at Candace Owens' video, you saw all those, those white, that white group, all white group that met her. And I can't think, I can't think of the other guy's name. They were eating breakfast and the, the Antifa, and they met them and threw eggs at them. And call bullhorn and calling them names. What is wrong with that Democratic Party? That, that that don't mean those people. How can you look to the future like that? That how can you look to the future when all you have in your mind is hatred and racism for another people, for for a person, for Donald Trump, accusing him of being a racist when they're the real racist? It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand how minorities or black americans can well you know what thanks to the thanks to the brainwashing of the democrats by sitting up there making all these slave movies to keep it in our head that we were slaves we're not slaves today do you know i've never had any white person disrespect me in my life if they've said anything about me behind my back who cares i don't know about it who cares? But I've never had any white person disrespect me in my whole entire life. I've worked around them, lived around them, been best friends with white people all my life. They've never called me coons and called me names like black people has. I've never been disrespected by any white people. I've been disrespected by a bunch of white, black people. They're the ones who disrespect me, call me names, call me ugly, say my skin complexion is ugly. I'm short. Want to try to bribe me to sleep with me rape me I've all this by black people not white people I've had a lot of white people show me kindness kindness from their heart 
that make me want to show love and kindness. So that lets me know that something is wrong in the minds of a lot of black people who supports the Democrat, the left, the liberals, federation. Something is wrong with these people. <sighs> that is my frustration. <laughs> and, and, uh, and just, I'm glad to have video to get it out. Do you all think out there that prayer is gonna work for these democratic people? Let's see, the Native Americans, they have rights. Black Americans, they fought, they have rights. The women, they have rights. LGBTQ, they have rights. Animals, they have rights. Just living in the past. They need to get over it. We are in 2018. We are no longer slaves. We no longer have buggies. <laughs> what are those, those wagon horses and wagons? We no longer have that. We have cell phones. We have cars with batteries that can drive themselves. We have smartphones, smart cars, smart guns. We have smart houses. We have, people are living in the past. We're trying to go to the future, people. We're not trying to stay in the past. Whatever happened back there, that's why we're here on the earth to make it better for the future. That's why we're here. So all those people that said all those negative things, screw you. <laughs> screw you to hell. <laughs> make America great again. <laughs> I don't know these people you know what it, what's going on I think today or this weekend we have the um, Charlottesville well, I'm in Richmond Virginia and Charlottesville is where they had that terrorist group what I don't know too much about it cuz I tuned it out but they're gonna be meeting down there the Confederate flag whatever they're gonna be down there and they tell us the mayor has declared a state of emergency just in case a riot breaks out you know what I say for that? And I don't know if I'm ignorant. And if I'm ignorant, just say, Nicole, you're being ignorant. If they want to do that and they want to against, be against people, let them be it. As long as they don't come in your backyard and do anything against you. As long as they keep it confined to wherever they're having, the holding the rally at, let them, it's their right. Let them have their rally. If they want to be all negative or whatever, the Antifa, whoever these people, Confederate flag holders, whatever, let them have their rally. That's what I say about it. Let them have it. It doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't hurt me. It's not coming into my backyard. It's not making me feel any different because guess what I want to do, y'all? I want to make America great again. Nothing is going to stop me. I'm going to stay focused on that. I'm going to stay focused on the views. I'm going to stay focused on Trump and his ideas and his agendas. I know he's doing a space program. He wants to get that um, done. I, you know, he's continuing to uh, to bring jobs in our communities and in, 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 in our country. You know, I'm focusing on the positive. I'm not focusing on none of this negative stuff. So those people, those that guy and all those guys that came on my page and was calling me stupid and dumb and raggedy and everything, back to you. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words don't hurt me. And guess what? It ain't what you call me. It's what I answer to. Okay, so I was not upset when they were calling me them, those names. I was embarrassed for them because I said, this is how y'all have a conversation with a, a, a fellow black person. I'm supposed to be your sister. This is what you go to church and believe in Jesus and all this stuff. And this is what they, you tell them. But yet here I am because I voiced my opinion, opinion say I want to vote for Trump. You call me all these names. And this is why our community can't get anywhere. This is why our community is, is being usurped by all the other other nations all the other races because this is how our, our people can't stick together it's just the truth but you know what i have a family the walk away family the run or hashtag run run away family hashtag walk away family to trump and for trump i'm gonna, not gonna let anything get my focus off i'm gonna stick with that just wanted to say hello <laughs> happy friday <laughs> y'all i done went off for like nine minutes <laughs> Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for listening. This is your girl, Nicole Tyler. I may come back to you all tomorrow. If I don't, you all have, you all have a great weekend. I'm supposed to go to a watermelon festival on Sunday with a girlfriend. Let's hope I do that. And the, so the first song is complete. I will be working on that video this, this weekend to bring it to you next week. I promise you all that because it's already done. I love you all. Thank you all. Please subscribe like and share this video 
if you care or share some of my other videos if you care come see me on Facebook Nicole Tyler Instagram Miss Boss to feel me and right here on YouTube love you all God bless you hashtag MAGA 2020